Now, we can't emphasize enough that injuries or simply getting older can take a toll on our bodies, making it harder to do simple everyday things or to remain as active as we once were. Orthopedic Associates of Dutchess County understands that every patient is unique, as well as their treatment. We'll explore specialized orthopedic surgery along with advanced techniques for the spine and shoulder that's helping their patients regain the highest levels of function. I'm here to talk to you about uh, some new spinal procedures. The latest procedure out there is a procedure called XLIF. Traditional spinal fusions are done either through the front of the spine, that's called an anterior fusion, or from the back of the spine, that's called a posterior fusion. The XLIF has advantageous because you don't have to cut as much muscle and you make small little incisions in the side. You basically remove the disc from the side, avoiding the major nerves and the major blood vessels and abdominal contents, and then you put a cage inside the spine to rebuild and restore the height to a collapsed disc. The benefits of XLIF are it's uh, much less invasive in terms of the amount of muscle damage and cutting, smaller incisions, less blood loss, less risk, faster recovery times compared to traditional open spinal fusion surgery. Arthritis of the shoulder is much less common than arthritis of either the hip or knee, but it can be equally debilitating. The most common type of arthritis is known as osteoarthritis. The typical procedure for this is known as a total shoulder replacement, whereby the bone spurs are removed, the head of the humerus is removed, which is the ball of the shoulder, and a metal implant is placed. The socket is replaced with a plastic implant, and that becomes the shoulder replacement, which generally makes patients pain-free. Another type of arthritis that's becoming more readily recognized is something called rotator cuff arthropathy. A procedure for this is known as a reverse ball and socket procedure, whereby the socket is placed where the ball usually goes, and the ball is placed where the socket usually goes. What this does is it makes the deltoid muscle the motor to elevate their arm instead of the rotator cuff, which is now deficient. Orthopedic Associates of Dutchess County, helping you make all of the right moves for over 35 years.